Hello fellow hunters and welcome back to the vlog or vlog, whatever y'all want to call it. This week's episode deals with LED lighting. Back in 2019, when I was doing my research for the haunt, I came across a Still Be Studios tutorial about LED lighting using a tomato steak, some landscaping wire, and some electrical tape. Didn't get to pull the trigger back in 2019, so I figured, hey, you know what, I'm gonna do that in 2020. Well, COVID happened, so we didn't do a haunt in 2020. So this year, I done pulled that trigger. This should be a quick one this time. I'm gonna take you guys through a short video of how I modified what Still Beast did to their LED lights to make them a little more rigid, a little more sturdy for our application. Um, otherwise, it's basically the same. And if you check out Bloodshed Brothers uh, vlog series about 2020's vintage Halloween display, uh, you can see them in action. Sean rigged up a whole bunch of them across the top of the garage and wired them in this cool box, which I'm totally gonna do this year as well. And we got to see it in action when we went down there and I'm telling you, it looked fabulous. So stay tuned for some footage on how I basically make the same thing, but modify it ever so slightly, and hope it works real well this year, and hopefully you can take some inspiration from it and either make the same or maybe even make it different and make your own. All right, y'all, get ready for the quick version of putting together these lights based off the tutorial I'm from Still Beast. You need a light, you need some wire, your tomato steak cut to size, some landscape wire, electrical tape, shrink wrap, and a heat gun. Take the ends of your LED itself, along with your lead wire, twist them together, get you some electrical tape, wire them up so they do not touch each other. That is extremely important. You don't want to cause any kind of electrical shortage. That's what I'm doing right here. Then you want to take your shrink wrap tubing, place it over that joint, use your heat gun, apply some nice even heat. That's what you're going to use to make sure this is a very strong connection and won't pull apart. Then I take the LED itself, put it through the tomato steak so it's hanging out the back end, put in my landscaping wire, and this is where I get different. I take a medium-sized drywall plug, the blue ones you get at Home Depot or Lowe's, snug it in the end, then I use a clamp to clamp it down. This creates a very strong joint. Then I'm going to pigtail the back end, take some more electrical wire and wrap those wires around so it's nice and tidy and doesn't come loose. And as you'll see here shortly, this allows me to have a very flexible yet very stable and strong component to allow me to point that light anywhere I want. All right, y'all. I hope you got some useful information from what we showed you today. These little LED spotlights and a couple of them will be floodlights are gonna be all over our haunt this year. If you have any questions on exactly what I did after watching my info, or when you go to Still Peace Studios YouTube channel and watch Alan Hop's amazing tutorial, by all means, let me know in the comments down below. I can answer any questions you've had. I've made about 50 of these so far. As usual, please like and subscribe. Uh, if you haven't already, please check out all of our socials and click on the Linktree account. If you'd like to help us with this year's build, go to the donation page check it out we've got a whole plethora of options as far as levels of donations um, you can get your picture in the haunt you can be vip and get front of the line either way it's going to be an amazing halloween see you guys on the vlog next week